Welcome to the channel where we learn from some of our favorite singers. My name is Liza Quinn. I am so happy that you joined me. Now, as you saw in the thumbnail, today it's Forestella Day again. This is my second time reacting to and analyzing one of their videos, and I could not be more excited because the first time was so, so amazing. To enhance this experience, I have a very special collaborator and sponsor of today's video, Status Audio. Why? Because I have a chance to test out these three ANC earbuds, which are new. And what's exciting is these are three drivers. One driver for treble, one driver for mid, one driver for bass. It's a clearer, wider, more powerful sound. So I'm gonna be testing these out for the first time. On the app, you can have a personalized EQ setting and a bunch of other stuff. Right now I have it factory setting, okay? I just have it as it comes so that I can experience these as is for somebody who doesn't really know what their preferred EQ custom settings are. Last but not least, I mean, there's a bunch we could talk about, but most importantly, these have a noise cancellation of up to 38 decibels. That's pretty great. Here we go. Let's go ahead and have this immersive experience together. Oh, but don't forget before you run and go get them, they gave us a coupon code, so you don't want to miss out on that. It's Liza Quinn, exclusive for this community and that is 10% off that you're gonna get on these brand new earbuds. So stick around to the end so I can give you my honest feedback and we can check them out. Sounds beautiful. I just have to mention that I am thrilled that I chose this to listen to on these. They weren't kidding when they said this was really crisp, crystal clear. But what's helping me is to appreciate the timbre of their voices. Like I said, a full rounded frequency, what each of them has to offer, the bass. It's so beautiful because he still cuts through. It's not like a muddy bass sound. It's just, there's a lot of presence. The control is absolutely stunning and the pitch is so precise. I am so excited about this. <laughs> Can we discuss a couple vocal things that are happening here? Wow, this sounds so beautiful. Right here when they start coming together. Ooh, okay, so you see how they tackle that crescendo at the same time? Oh, that is just stunning. You get this beautiful swell. It is two instruments just coming together so beautifully. The vibratos are all controlled when they're together. <laughs> making that blend even more spectacular. And then we have the singer come out with this Hijo de la Luna. Which is beautiful because it's a, it's a beautiful, more like mid-rangey contrast. So what I mean by that is there's a lot of meat in his tone. So if you'll notice, instead of giving it breathier, headier, Hijo de la Luna, got a little bit more of like a chest presence, right? Hijo de la Luna. Ooh, right, it's more in what you would call like a sireny, slightly more pharyngeal place. It's all about texture, it's all depending on what you're trying to do. At that point in the arrangement, they wanted to give it more meat and have him be very present, have that come with power, have that cut right through like a knife, and it does. Okay, let's pick it up from this instrumental here. <laughs> The 
完全。So rich. They are integrated in this arrangement so beautifully. Can we just back up here so you can hear this part, this counterpart here? So if you think about this, it's ah, oh, it could be either like a pizzicato string, bling bling, or it could be sort of like a like a flute, something a little airier. But it's this little sense of it's just floating there. It's creating that haunting feeling. The way they're doing those swells, those crescendos and decrescendos together, and the, using their breaths at the same time, it's creating this incredible emotion, this incredible feeling. It's painting a visual picture. Absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning. Not just in the arrangement, but obviously their execution. Just amazing. <laughs> See how that one was different? So it's about also choosing the right singer to sing the right part at the right moment. That's gonna enhance the arrangement too. This one, Hijo de la Luz, it has, it's more intimate, it's more held back, it's more in the yawn space, there's a little bit more breath. And what does that create? A completely different feeling than the first one did. We just went into all this like beautiful, big, powerful sound, big crescendos, this fullness, all of them singing together to then, Give your arrangement a, a space to breathe and that, that those vocals a chance to just kind of draw you in right there. And it's that ebb and flow that just like keeps you on the edge of your seat. And it's just beautifully effective. And whoo, I am getting chills listening here. Oh, this is, this is amazing. The vibrato with the little fall at the end. Ooh. Hijo de la luna, hijo de la luna.
There's so much <laughs> we could spend all day on this. But very quickly, before we dive into the vocal and the technical, I've got to say this was a great pairing. If I was able to be 100% honest, that really is a well-rounded sound. There was a crispness and a very focused sound I really got to experience and appreciate those three drivers. And particularly with this kind of vocal arrangement, yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's go back real quick. <laughs> Clarity, so absolutely stunning. I remember when I was having a hard time learning some classical music repertoire that I had to learn, but I was in way over my head. I was really young and I was under experienced and I was under trained. And I remember the coach that I was working with, she gave me a bunch of recordings to listen to, said, go ahead and listen to this, study this, try to mimic it so you can get the hang of the sound. If you do decide to go that route where you listen to them and you try to mimic the sounds and you emulate that, one of the things that will help you is making sure that you are filling up in, in what I call the spare tire region. So it's not just about the belly, but it's about your back. That whole time I'm focusing on how little air do I have to use to get this done. I just want a steady stream, a steady, steady stream. And that's what he's able to master. And that's what you can practice when you are emulating what they do. I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you for hanging out with me. Take care, guys.